Engineers Association of Manufacturers that brought proposals that would protect our local manufacturing industry, made proposals to levy excise duty on completed or finished products being imported from China, the Far East, Europe, including diapers and sanitary towels. But what happened, Honorable Speaker? The public were incited to believe that this house was levying tax on all diapers, on all sanitary towels, and you remember our young daughters telling us in their parlance out there, how our bunge hata hawataki to nyeshe sasa. You know, Honorable Speaker, how embarrassing when we saw it was when we watched our daughters, our teenage daughters, telling us that hatutaki wanyeshe. Well, as it is them that we sought to protect, it is our young mothers, our young daughters, our sisters we sought to protect from cheap, completed products of sanitary towels, which nobody can authenticate how hygienic they are. The standards that they've been manufactured under in the West and in the Far East, Honorable Speaker. And some of these Far East countries, Honorable Speaker, you know, they have no standards. You get what you pay for. And it is that that we sought to levy excise duty on so that we protect that local manufacturer who is manufacturing sanitary towels in Mlolongo, another one in Riru, another one in Juja, another one in Akuru, Honorable Speaker. It is the farmer in Western Kenya and Luo Nyanza and parts of Nyanza, Honorable Speaker, that we sought to protect who has now been given cotton seed, BT cotton seed, to produce cotton for the value addition of uh, this manufacturing industry, Honorable Speaker. It is the Kenyan youth who are on the streets we sought to protect to create jobs for them in those factories here, Honorable Speaker. But what did we do? We were told, reject. We rejected, we lost jobs. We rejected, we exported jobs to the Far East. No wonder, Honorable Speaker, today, when CS Mutua announces 3,000 jobs in Qatar, 30,000 Kenyans turn up at KICC. I want to plead to the, with the Kenyan people and more so our further state honorable speaker. Let us be responsible in how we communicate to our people because we end up misleading our people and at times even us as political leaders we are guilty because we end up saying what we think is popular with the public but not what is right. And I've said the honorable speaker before, what is right is not necessarily what is popular honorable speaker. Therefore, in terms of public participation, I want to ask all our committees when we embark on public participation, our work is to listen to the views of the public and balance it against the legislative proposals that we have and against the policies that we seek to anchor that legislation on, Honorable Speaker. Because it is only you who, upon being elected, like the member for Kajiado South, the people of Kajiado South believe that the member of Kajiado South is the best among us, their people.